The Eugene skyline is going to look different again now that Elkhorn Brewery near downtown Eugene has already closed its doors to make room for a high-rise student apartment complex. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday. I'm Matt Temple, and in our top story at 4 o'clock, KZI 9 News reporter Joey Vaca spoke to business owners and residents in that area about their thoughts on all the change. Chula's has been here in downtown Eugene since 2015. The owner tells me in the nine years since they've been open, she has seen a lot change around her. Once the Elkhorn Brewery building is demolished and construction begins, yet another new high rise will begin to take shape along Broadway near downtown Eugene. Ken Brown has lived in the Eugene Springfield area for almost all his life. And he says all the new development is a two sided coin. I, I think on one hand, it's really great for the university. It's great for the students. Um, it, it does change uh, what happens here on this stretch though. Aaron Palayo owns Chula's in Eugene and has been able to see the skyline grow right in front of her eyes. It's wild. This little tiny town, when it draws and that that building that wraps around in front of Whole Foods, that's all student housing. Identity is student housing. The 515 is student housing. There's student housing right next door to us. It's just, I don't know when it's going to stop. But with more and more apartments coming in, she worries about leaving room for other necessities. I don't know where people are going to eat. Um, they're taking over the place, so they need to start thinking about small businesses and how we're going to survive during this. Um, that's a big concern of ours as well. And she says it's hard as a business owner, but that's not all she is. I'm a resident as well, so it's great having the students here. It's, but we need also to have room for small businesses, for restaurants to be here, for retailers to be here, so we can share, you know, so we can be a part of it. Palayo says more students in the area means more potential customers, and that is good for business, but there are also drawbacks. Coming up on KEZI 9 News at 5, I'll show you how new development is shoving others out. Reporting in Eugene, Joey Vaca, KEZI 9 News.